Hello fellow adventurers, in this guide we're diving deep into the thrilling world of Trapper builds in Ragnarok Eternal Love. Discover the power of explosive magic, strategic chops, and dominate the battlefield like never before. From equipments and cards to enchants, damage modifiers, and pro tips will equip you with everything you need to become the ultimate chopper. First, let's talk about the equipments. For the offhand, I'm using a plus 15 voodoo blade with 20% ignore death random attribute, enchanted with 9 in, and it laid with intelligence collapse card. For the armor, I'm using a plus 15 wisdom sacrificial garb with 20% elemental damage random attribute, enchanted with moral 4 and inlaid with the heart card. For the garment, I'm using a plus 15 leader's pauldron for the ignore defense with 12% skill damage increase and the attribute enchanted with stun and fear resist. For instances, you can also use the arcane for inch. This one is inlaid with Zenobia card which gives plus 6% skill damage. For the foot tears, I'm using a plus 15 crystals grace with 6% magical damage increase random attribute enchanted with silence and fury resist inlaid with Edgar star card. You can also use the arcane for enchant here for the foot tier. For the accessories, I'm using a plus 15 bright moon enchanted with 10 in and inlaid with Witch of Calamity card. For the other one, I'm, use, I'm also using the plus 15 bright moon enchanted with plus 10 in inlaid with moonlight and brilliant card. For the weapon, I'm using a plus 15 tier for Moonlight Goddess, enchanted with Moral 4, inlaid with Shell Chippet Star card at a Miss Moonlight card. For the headwear, I'm using Music of Soul, which gives additional 25% magic damage when you're hitting large monsters, inlaid with Katerina card. For the face gear, I'm using a plus 6 tails from the sea, which gives a total of 10% magical penetration, enchanted with moral 4. For the mouth, I'm using the royal kingship, enchanted with 9 feet. For the back gear, I'm using a plus 6 encomious movement for the 20% additional quick chance for our traps, enchanted with morale 2. For the tail, I'm using a plus 6 real day mode, which gives additional plus 4% magic AoE skill damage. Also, when refined plus 6, gives additional 4% Elemental damage, enchanted with blasphemy. For the skills, prioritize getting Vulture's Eye for the additional skill casting range, Owl's Eye for additional decks, Elemental Arrow for attack. Uncle Snare, Frost Trap, Claymore Trap, Detonator, Improved Concentration, Landmine, True Sight, Windwalk for Survivability, Trap Research, Sandman Trap 
electric shock, exceed brake, and instrument expert. For the Stellar Hunter Skill 3, prioritize on getting Comet Trap, Laser Trap, Dark Matter Trap, Twinkling Stars for survivability, Star Scourge, Star Searching Trap. Unlimited stars for your additional 20% magical penetration. Cryogenic Cyclone. And Riding Shoot. For the runes, here are my recommendations. Prioritize on getting a high first line craftsman rune. High first line chop specialization rune. Death Knight Trap Rune and also a third line activated Dark Knight Trap Rune. You can also inlay Excellent State Star Rune and you can also inlay Forest Elf Rune for additional survivability. For the Attribute Runes, inlay Int Buff Rune, Lock Buff Rune, Dex Buff Rune. Illusion Attack Rune for additional plus 9% magical damage increase. Tation Attack Rune for additional plus 6% magical penetration. Poisonous Shadow Attack Rune for additional plus 9% neutral damage. Armor Breaking Attack Rune for plus 12% ignore defense. Element Attack Rune for additional plus 9% of Elemental damage. You can also inlay Steel Death Rune for additional skill damage reduction and Element Death Rune for additional elemental damage reduction. For the Relic, I'm using Ops Piccolo, but the best in slot will be Secret Cloak and Lord of the Ink. For the Oracle Mirror, I'm using Chieftain's Axe which gives 2% Ignore Defense for every refined level. For the defensive one, I'm using Meteorite Armor for the additional freeze and stun resist. Weapon best in slot will be the Stick of Wicked Top for the, for the magical penetration. And for the PvP, you can also use a Abri Bow which gives additional Demi human damage and you can also use the magical fox grass that gives additional neutral damage
And there you have it, our complete guide for dropper builds in Ragnarok Eternal Love. We hope you found this video informative and inspiring. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more epic guides of Ragnarok Eternal Love. Thank you so much for watching.